I told them, yo, we got to do something. We got to do something. We have to do something. It has to be fun, exciting, change the mood up. Because y'all know I'm a fall, a girly pop. I love fall. Fall loves me and I love fall. My birthday's in November. There's Christmas. There's all things pumpkin spice, even though I don't like drinking pumpkin spice. Damn near don't like smelling it. But it's cute. The little pumpkin spice, little animated things that they be having around. It's cute. It's adorable. It's fun. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Hello, hey, how y'all doing? Um, welcome to another weekly vlog. Is this gonna be a weekly vlog? I don't know. I don't know what this is gonna be. I don't even know how to start because I can't remember the last time I picked up the camera to actually record a weekly vlog. I've been heavy. I, I can't, I can't remember the last time I picked up this camera to like record a weekly vlog that's embarrassing that's embarrassing i think the last time i posted a weekly vlog was a month ago but the footage in the monthly vlog was from two three months ago i don't know um hey y'all how you doing if you're new here girl i'm sorry it's already chaotic and at this point that's pretty much just the gist of this channel so hello i'm kadisha um paperback passionista and occasionally i post weekly vlogs wrap-ups whatever i feel like posted on this youtube channel <laughs> um yeah girl i i don't know i miss you guys i miss you guys a lot i think the last time we talked i was literally doing a mid-year wrap-up or was it a wrap-up or a get my life together i think it was a get my life together and baby i did i did i did get my life together and if you don't believe me you should follow me on social media like the instagrams the tiktoks the snapchats the threads even Pinterest, love, I post uh, definitely on my Instagram stories every single day. Every single day, I post. I post every day. So if you are looking like, girl, you ain't posting, you don't fell off, I have it. I haven't fell off. I just haven't picked up the actual camera to record this. And speaking of camera, for some reason, my memory card that I bought from Amazon don't work. So now I'm back recording on my phone until they drop the new memory card off. They said tonight? Tonight or they did overnight, which of the two. Um, so I need a memory card for that. So we back thugging it on this camera. Oh, well, on the iPad. Now, this is not an iPad. This is an iPhone. We back thugging it on this iPhone um, until that gets dropped off. Yeah, girl, I miss you guys. I really miss sitting down just talking to y'all. I really do. It's fall time. Favorite time of the year. The stress and anxiety and the hype, the running, the ripping and running, all the things that the summer is known for that has slowed down in my life and i can feel like i can actually take a deep breath and start all over again so yes that's what today is um outside i just want to sit down say hey let y'all know proof of life and also i need to get my nightstand together because this nightstand is pretty much just my ex obsession with perfumes all things vanilla and let me let me let me turn around baby look at this this is pathetic it, it, it needs help. It needs a lot of help. So I want to get that together because I can... Are we good? Are we great? Don't fall over, girl. Yes, I need to get that together. It needs to get dusted. I, I'm i tired of looking at this. So in between answering emails, doing what I need to do in there, I need to get this together. I thought this would be a great way to start the vlog. Just throwing some tunes. Watch me clean. And y'all can see this massive behind perfume collection that I have it's not as big as some child I'm over here exaggerating but also comma for the average person that loves vanilla girl this is excessive because this this right here this needs help this this is too much and it's the fact that one is dusty as hell it needs to be dusted because Kadisha you and Helen all that does do better your allergies hate you already are you good you great got it cool also comma I have more perfume over there that needs to come over here like how are we supposed to make that work so i have a new um perfume tray that i need to update and throw this one out because baby this one this one is done she needs to go and then i have another one that's a taller upright tray for my perfume oils so yes the most important thing that i miss you guys i miss you guys um and i forgot how much i miss talking to y'all and just rambling and then editing this back 
I, I really hate editing, but a part of me was just like, I miss talking to them. Like what we, what we was doing that week, girl, what we was running our mouths about. The girls need to know. So yes, I miss you guys. I miss you guys dearly. But yeah, and me missing y'all, this is like the last bit of unorganized subsections in my brain that needs to be fixed. I've already organized all of those boxes over there with my skincare that's not going to get opened in this house. It's going to the next house. Um, so I organized that over the weekend, which I'm so proud of myself. I did some organizing with some books. And then the last portion of it was to organize this perfume section. And then after that, everything in the house is organized. Everything is ready to bring in the fall cozy vibes to usher in my favorite season, to usher in all of the positive and calm, cool, collected, cozy, centered, all the things. So yeah, I think that's all the things I need to say. I could go ahead and get started. Um, yeah, I think this. I think that's all I wanted to say because most of the stuff over here, if y'all got questions, y'all want to see some stuff, reach out to me in the comments. I will definitely answer all of them and reach back out to you, let you know what's over here. But baby, nine times out of ten, it ain't nothing but everything vanilla. If you want to know my sense of choice and what I smell like, because I know through the camera you can't really get a whiff of what I smell like, baby, it's vanilla. It's very basic, and I love that about me. But it's like vanilla base and then a variety of things on top of that. So, yes, I will put y'all up somewhere while I throw on some tunes and get this clean. Because, baby, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. But I also want to show y'all my perfume collection at the same time. So, let's see. Count me up, I'm counting my bullets, I'm loading my clips, I'm writing down names, I'm making a list, I'm checking it twice and I'm getting them hit. The real ones been dying, the fake ones is lit, the game is off balance, I'm back on my The Bentley is dirty, my sneakers is dirty, but that's how I like it, you all on my d I'm all in my bag, as hard as it get, I do not f powder, I might take a sip, I might hit the fuck, but I'm liable to trip, I ain't popping no pill, but you do as you wish. I roll with some fiends, I love them to death, I got a few mil, but not all of them rich. What good is the bread if my niggas is broke? What good is for a class if my niggas can't sit? That's my next mission, that's why I can't quit. Just like LeBron, get my niggas more chips. Just put the rolly right back on my wrist. This watch came from Drizzy, he gave me a gift. Back when the rap game was praying like this, to act like two legends cannot coexist. But I never be for the nigga for nothing if I spoke around. It's gonna be legit, it won't be for clout, it won't be for fame It won't be cause my they ain't selling the same It won't be to sell you my latest little sneakers It won't be cause some niggas slid in my lane Everything grows, it's destined to change I love you little niggas, I'm glad that you came I hope that you scrape every dollar you gain I hope you know money won't erase the pain To the OGs, I'm thinking you now Was watching you when you was paving the ground I copied your cadence, I mirrored your style I studied the grace, I'm the greatest right now If you feel me, you ain't got a choice I ain't do no promo, still made all that noise The thing will be different, I set my intent I promise to slap all that hate out your voice Count me out, I'm counting my bullets I'm loading my clips, I'm writing their names I'm making a list, I'm checking it twice And I'm getting them hit The real ones been dying, the fake ones is lit The game is off balance, I'm back on my d The penny is dirty, my sneakers is dirty But that's how I like it, you all on my d I just poured something in my cup We coming from a long bloodline of trauma We raised by our mamas, oh, we got a hill We hurting our sisters, the babies is well We killing our brothers, they poison the well Destroy the self-image, we set up the fail I'ma make sure that the real gon' prevail I just poured something in my cup
day that I bought, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, but you know, we improvised, we improvised. But it's it's massive, okay? Um, I knew I had a problem. I didn't know I had that much of a problem. And I didn't even get all of them up here because these spray bottles and lotions that match, they're not making it. So I'm gonna have to end up making a box for them. And then eventually, by the time we move here and I get everything set up, I'll have more than what I already have. But look at it, look at it. Hold on, let me make sure y'all can see it in this full glory. Oh my gosh, all right, wait, wait, wait now. Wait, let's, let's get it together. Let's see it in its full glory. Hold on, hold on. Y'all bear with me, child. We still working on this phone. Because if I had my camera, this would be a quick little flip around real quick. Wait, wait, wait. This way, this way, this way. Is that it? Is that? Can you see? All right, Kadisha, get it together. Get it together. This is what happens when you don't record for more than a month and a half. And you don't know what you're doing. Okay, great. We're just going to leave that there. But that's everything in its full glory. I am obsessed freaking obsessed and i am in love so yes if you did not know or if you're new to me i love vanilla girl get, how are you talking when people can't see your face get it against kadisha yes but i love vanilla i love all things vanilla and um that's my small collection one day i'll have this massive collection the same way i do all these books but we'll work our way to that but yes i am done organizing that and I feel like that compartment, that bullet point, that box in my mind is finally checked. I can finally figure out what I have, what I don't have. So I can go down my list of things that I want to collect in the vanilla stratosphere. Of all the things I want from Victoria's Secret, the high end, the low end, the, the specialty, the antiques, and also the niche perfumes. Child, I love everything. But yes, that's all I'm going to be doing today. I have to go log back in and check on a few things because this was my long extended lunch break child I needed a break but other than that I think I think that's it for today I'll probably pick up the camera maybe tomorrow when I go to the gym maybe not depending on how I feel like I've been having really low energy um because I'm just getting off my cycle so the gym and I we still locked in ain't no switching up but I'm taking it slow because my energy ain't there but I'm showing up and half of the battle is showing up. So yes, I'll be showing up to the gym tomorrow. Regular housework, regular go to work, do all the things, spend time with the family. I have been decorating the house, so you should see some of that in the upcoming footage, maybe another vlog. But yes, I am decorating the house and make it all fall and festive. Um, but other than that, child, I, I've been away for a hot minute, so let me get back to work. Hey you guys, happy Tuesday. No girl, it is Wednesday, October 2nd. Like. It's 2.13, sorry, let me let me try it again. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, is it Wednesday? Yes, it's Wednesday, October 2nd, and it is 2.13, and I don't know, my energy's kind of down today. Um, I did, I, actually my day started great. I went to the gym, came home, showered, had some breakfast, logged into work. Everything was going fine until I got like an email. Was it an email? Yes, it was an email at like 11.30. Just for my boss to let me know that two other people in our company or our side of the company has been let go. And it's just... It's just sad. It's hard to like continue working at a company knowing that they keep telling you, hey, you're essential. They love you. Like you're doing great. You know, the company's just going through a major change right now. And there's been a lot of people letting go. But, you know, just hang in there like we you're, you're not going to go anywhere. It is hard to keep keeping the faith. And not trying to jump the gun and like get on Indeed and bust out my resume, start interviewing all that and still trying to like stay at this job but they just let people go left and right so i don't know my energy is kind of down about that and that's neither here nor there child just this is just me getting it all out in the open like i'm i'm pretty nervous i am no i'm pretty nervous about my job but that's not even he neither here nor there um i got some packages can you see them mm, you probably can't hold on let me move um i got some packages today because today is Wednesday, and I told, like, Jada and Johnny, um, we got to do something festive in this house. Like, this week, I think we haven't done anything fall-related 
in this house this week. So I told them, y'all, we got to do something. We got to do something. We have to do something. It has to be fun, exciting, change the mood up. Because y'all know I'm a fall, a girly pop. I love fall. Fall loves me and I love fall. My birthday's in November. There's Christmas. There's all things pumpkin spice, even though I don't like drinking pumpkin spice. Damn near don't like smelling it. But it's cute. The little pumpkin spice, little animated things that they be having around. It's cute. It's adorable. It's fun. So we got to do something. So I think today, hold on, let me go grab them. I think today we're going to do some decorating. Um, yeah, I need to move this stuff anyway. So yeah, we're going to do some decorating today. Um, we're going to make some pumpkins because I've seen a video on Instagram of a lady like making, like taking the temporary tattoos on like fake pumpkins and like decorating them. Like I'll put the video up somewhere, child. It's probably playing by, by the time I'm talking. But yes, I saw that and I was like, that'd be cute because I'm thinking about decorating the entertainment stand. Like I have a few things here and there that's like, um, I have it decorated with a cute little leaf tablecloth and I have the pumpkins here as well as if you go over here, I have this pumpkin here, which is cute and adorable in the shape of a football because my husband is a football head, baby. If one thing's for sure and two things for certain, August to February, football is on and popping in this house. And then if I could turn on the light, I have this here. This is like a cute little family recipe with a candle and this cute little fall decor here. So I am making this heavy, heavy, heavy fall in this house because, babes, we still doing the renovations. It's going slower than I expected. And we got to turn this ship around. I have to end 2024 in a better mood than when I started. So, yes, I am going to be decorating today. And I also wanted to change out these pillows because I hate... You can't see that. I hate the pillows on this couch. Like, they were cool, fine, fair. They were great when we first moved in. But, baby, these got to go to Goodwill. These got to go. So, I was on Instagram again, and I saw where people were buying, like, um, regular pillows on Amazon, making the insert, like, not the insert, the pillow covers, like, decorative. So, I was like, okay, Amazon don't need no more of my money. But I bought it anyway. So these are super cute. Like these are adorable. So I have these and I have another one. Which I need to bring all the packages over here. Kadisha, you just run in your mouth and still haven't moved the packages. Hold on, you guys. This is how you know I haven't been filming a vlog in so freaking long. I feel like there's so many things I want to say. I ain't getting all my words and my thoughts out. None of that. It's chaotic. It's chaotic. So, I need to look in here to see where it's at. So, that's what we'll be doing today. I'll probably record it more than likely because this vlog is probably big born. I haven't recorded anything outside of the... No, I haven't. I haven't recorded anything outside of the um, perfume. So, this is probably two minutes into the vlog and ain't nothing being seen. So, these are the pumpkins. They're like white with the gold accent stem here. And then I have some fall. Um, oh, these are the cute pumpkins. Oh, I definitely need to take this out. So I bought like two uh, pumpkin pillows as well off of Amazon. Of course, all of this will be listed down below. If you see something you like, girl, go ahead and cop it. Hold on, let me get some scissors. But yeah, I bought these and I thought they would be so stinking cute. And I am creating a monster. I really am. Because I started decorating and I took Jada to the store with me to get some of this stuff. And babes, she is in love. So, I said I wanted to do just a little bit, you know, put myself in a better mood based upon, like, how this job and everything's been going for this year. Baby, I need to lighten, brighten up this house. But fool around with her behind. She over here thinking, everything is so cute. Girl, yes, I know everything is so cute. But money ain't growing on trees around here so we gotta be strategic with our coins so oh my gosh this is cute oh this is cute this is adorable oh this is so cute i need to lice all this down before i let anybody lay on it or play with it 
you know, got to be safe at all times. Amazon be cutting up and wherever they be shipping and getting their stuff from, don't always be the cleanest. So make sure you lice all your stuff. Um, and I'll show you the lice all I have. Hold on, because it's the fabric one that I absolutely have been loving. Hold on. It's this one that I love. It's the Lysol fabric. I spray everything down in this house with this. So, yes, if you are big on keeping everything sanitized and clean, get this for, like, everyday use when it comes to your fabric. All the things. Got to keep the people in this house safe. So, yes, I'm going to spray these down, but this is so cute. It came in a two-pack. It's this one and this one right here. Oh, I think I like the white one. Is this dirt? Oh, no, that was just a sticker. Okay, no, I got to, like, squish it out. But this one's cute, too. So all of this is going to go on the couch over here. And then I have one more pillow cover right here outside of this one. I need to find it. So these are going to go there, which just need to be Lysol. Let me put this in a chair so the chair and everything can be Lysol. And I need to find the other cover. Let me go this way. Oh, here's the other pillow cover oh this one's cute too i tried to keep it in the the color scheme as best as possible when it comes to amazon because i really don't be knowing um because pictures are cute and all on amazon but the colors and how they be coming to the house don't don't really be serving but this is cute oh yes and yes i did get them huge the pillow should be in here too i think this is a 24 by 24 Oh yeah, this is going to be gorgeous. So imagine this, I have this in the 24 by 24, and then I have another one, I'm gonna insert the picture because I think it won't be here till Saturday. It is a brown one that is a 20 by 20 where it has like, it's all brown, but the it's not embroidered, but it's like raised and it has a bunch of pumpkins on it. And then this is the 18 by 18 pillow. So take this, put a brown solid one, and then this in the middle, and then the pumpkins just to sit. Yep, that was cute. Amazon for the win. Kadisha is trying to interior decorate without seeing the product. And I think I did well. I think I did well. This is cute. This is very, very cute. So I have this. I have the pumpkins. Girl, what else you ordered? Because this is more than what you were anticipating. What else is in here? What happens? When you just be ordering and a happy-go-lucky move, you be overspending. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is the the fall decor. Oh, okay. I know exactly what this is. I have a... I'll insert a picture. Um, this is some of the fall decor that I was going to put up here, which I'll show y'all later when we get to decorating. But I, the main thing I wanted to show y'all while I'm over here running my mouth... When it came to the um, pumpkins, the temporary tattoos, some of them came in, and they're right here. Let me take them out of here so you can get it. A full idea because some of them are glittery, and it looks like this. So you could just decorate it all with the temporary tattoos. And this could be something where I can always have them. One is a keepsake because it's a family activity. But also, like, decorations are expensive. Decorating your whole house, and I know this is probably the... And Lord's willing, and if I continue to hustle like I'm trying to and continue to make this money, this is probably the smallest my house will ever be. So I know between Johnny, Jada, and me, th this family will only be this small for probably this year, next year, and probably a year to come. Decorating a full house like that, baby, I ain't got money like that. Like, I want to have money like that. But these kids, while I'm trying to have a bunch of them, y'all need to get the activities going Get mommy decor together because y'all saving me some coins. Because this right here, I can't remember how much this was, plus like some $5 tattoos. Yes, decorate them, make them all nice and fancy. And guess who's going to be popping these doggone pumpkins out next year? Me, because they're going up around the house. Mommy cute, keepsake, but also get, get the decor made, kids. Get, get this decor made today. That is what we're going to be doing today. I probably need to go back to work because... Work is always working on my nerve. And there's probably a million other emails I haven't gotten to. But I just want to hop in here real quick. See y'all. Let y'all see my face. And uh, show y'all what we're doing today. Well, that's about it. Um, yeah, I, I can see it from over here. I probably need to go back to work. So I'll catch y'all in a few.
walking and it was so cute um this is what it looks like hopefully y'all can see the vision because i didn't realize these little tattoo things i thought it would be like cute huge it'll be able to cover these whole pumpkins i don't even have the largest this is the second largest johnny is still working on the biggest one and it's gonna take him the whole season of fall to cover the entire pumpkin but this is what i have super cute i still have literally all of this real estate left so i'll probably just cover this like once every what four days i told you probably cover this for four days yeah. it'll take four days so yes um this is the first quadrant probably take me three more days to cover it um but this was fun it was fun it was really cool um definitely recommend if y'all want to do something for fall family activities or if you just want to make your house very festive like i just did Please do it. Because I got this idea. What did I say? I got it off of Instagram. Yeah, some lady on Instagram did it. And I was like, mm, that's cute. Let me just go ahead and do it. But yes, I finished decorating the house today. We have a long way to go. Because let me... Oh, don't drop it. Let me show you what we have of the entertainment stand. This is what we have so far. Of uh, the garland and everything that lights up. It's, it's not as full as I would want it to be. I want it like a lot fuller and like a bunch of leaves all over the place so i'm gonna need like mm, i say four more of these so it probably won't get in until mm, i'll say this weekend so i'll probably do that this weekend and like make it fuller but uh the little one she did her pumpkins she already have them placed it's super cute right here and then she did hers right here so I really love it. it. It turned out nice. It turned out really nice. And then I don't know if I showed y'all the pumpkins that was on the table beforehand. But these large pumpkin, pump, pumpkins, <laughs> these large pumpkins I got from Old Town Pottery as well. So we are going to wrap up and get all of these little temporary tattoos cleaned up because, child, this is going to take us a long time. But it was fun. I had a great time. Uh, but yeah. That's it. I'm tired. I done worked all day. I done went to the gym. Then did a whole decorative activity and decorated the house. I'm good and tired. I'm exhausted. So, I'm going to clean up and then I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday at 9.03 on April. Why did I say April? Girl, you tired. <laughs> you big tired because it is October 3rd. Um... And yeah, as you can see, I haven't picked up the camera since the last night when we decorated. Because, babe, by the time we finished um, doing the decorations, doing the pumpkins, doing other things, I was wiped. Wiped out. And then I got up this morning, ran some errands. Because I had to take some of the, like, the pillows y'all saw yesterday that I put in the bags. Had to take that to Goodwill. And then I um, went to the gym. Came home. Work was crazy. Per usual, it was crazy then i went over to um old town pottery today because i got some new pillows um let me show you because i liked hold on let me grab them i liked um the decorations and the um decor we had yesterday but i feel like it was still a little naked like i feel like i needed some more pillows so i have two big pumpkins where are those pumpkins are they in the room girl hold on let me go grab them Okay, yeah, I went to Old Town Pottery today during my lunch break and felt like we needed some more pumpkins and decor, pillows and everything because it's giving fall, but it's not giving fall to the degree in which I wanted to give fall. So we need to up the ante on decor. So I got these two huge pumpkins. They're brown. They're cute. I think they're going to sit on the bed because I want to redo the linen in our room because the gray... And the white is cute, it's fine, but baby, it's played out. I need new linen, new everything for that room, so I think I want to go with brown and cream. So I got the pumpkins for this, and then while I was in there, oh shoot, I need to pick that up. I'll pick that up in a minute. Um, I saw this pillow to go in the small little circle chair, and this is so cute. It doesn't say anything on the back, it just has the um leaves and i seen this leaf pillow to go with it so it just sits in the chair it is so cute it is so adorable and then um yesterday y'all saw me put the uh pillow covers on the small pillows on this couch i didn't like it i didn't like it so i went ahead and ordered this one um off of amazon i like this because it fits better and it definitely matches the pillow cover that's going to come on 
Saturday. Yes, on Saturday. So I love this. I love this so much. It's gonna tie in well. And I think I'm missing a pillow. And I'm sitting on it. Yeah. This long pillow as well, I got it from Old Town Pottery as well. So I did that. Did a little bit of retail therapy shopping because child work. <sighs> work is a lot. Work is a lot right now. And I'm trying to like balance, you know, being a wife, bonus mom, be an employee, do all the things. But babes, I'm I'm tired. It's, it's running me dry. But I um, did some retail therapy. Then I came home. Did some straightening up, ate dinner, and now I'm finally sitting down, ready to decompress, relax, and get into my show that I have been in love with since 2000, 2000, or is it 1999? I don't know, whenever my mama told me that we was going to be watching Lauren on the SVU, and I sat down and I watched one episode, and I literally fell in love with the partnership of Olivia Benson and Elliot Stabler, they have taken up so much of my mental space, it is freaking ridiculous like i don't know why i have so much useless information over the past 26 years in my mind of these people but i do and it's my obsession and i get it i got it i know some people will be like girl black woman living in america you are riding down for two white cops listen this is a fantasy world <laughs> if this was real life baby i couldn't stand these two motherfuckers <laughs> i could not stand them wouldn't want nothing to do with these people. But let me live in my happy-go-lucky fantasy smut world and act like this whole entire show is not propaganda. Like, I get it. I got it. But also, I, I'm going a, I'm to a live in a little fairy tale land while they on TV. Um, yes, I do. I am that type of fan that think they deserve to be together. So, if you're going to ask me, come in my comment section asking, like, oh, do you think they should stay partners forever? Or do you think now that his wife is dead... She, she and him should be together. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have been waiting 26 years for these people to kiss. And they have not done it yet. So, you, you already know. You already know. I am that type of insane follower. And I'm going to follow this whole train till the wheels fall off. So, I am going to get comfy, watch this show. And I think Law & Order Organized Crime, the one that St Elliot Stabler is on, I think that's on Peacock now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Y'all, I'll find it. But, um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be sitting here, and you can watch me either spoon or be annoyed at whatever is on this TV. Because I think for the last, I didn't watch it when he was gone for them 10 years. I was like, babes, I don't know what I'm going to watch because I ain't watching this. But then when he came back, I kind of got caught up a little bit. And now I'm here, hoping that he comes on her show and she goes on his and I get a little ounce, a little tenth of some form of personal life outside of these horrific ass cases. And I'm going to take my behind the bed because I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. And then I have a lot of stuff at work I need to wrap up before I get into this weekend. So this is my time to decompress. I got me some water here. Um, and I got me this, what is it, blackberry or blueberry? I think it's blueberry. Um, is it blueberry? I think it's the blueberry Canadian dry ginger ale. I think that's what this is. Yeah, it's the blackberry one. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just relax. And hopefully, I don't get annoyed. Lord, I've been annoyed for the last two, three seasons of both shows. We're going to hold out hope that this year they're going to wrap it around because they have so many plot holes. So many things is just completely wrong with this show. And I'm just like, why am I still watching it? I don't know. But I'm going to watch it. I'm also going to run my mouth on Tumblr. No, you cannot know my handle. No, you do not know where I am, where I exist. That is a whole other world that I'm not sharing to this side of the world. But I'm going to run my mouth on Tumblr. And then, yeah, I'm going to let that be it. So... Girl, let's get into our show.
Let me turn this down so I don't get flagged. So far, it's it's okay. It's normal Lauren on the SVU. Like, they got a case. Nine times out of ten, this case probably came straight from the New York Times, straight from somebody's local um, news outlet that something happened in the real world. And, baby, we just re-watching a very fictitious but also based on some real facts type of crime um nothing in particular oh, excuse me it's going pretty slow to be expected for the premiere um i can't really tell what's the big idea for the season so far outside of we got a new girl can't remember her name baby i'm terrible at names when it comes to the new people they gotta give me something um to remember before I can like really commit them to memory because it's a bit of a revolving door when it comes to the people that's on Lord on the SVU right now. Like it's been entirely too many new people in and out. So I'm gonna see if the new girl is gonna stick. Um I see a few familiar faces. Um Munch unfortunately passed away. I I have been missing his dynamic with Ice T, which is Ola Finn, Tutu Ola. Um uh, Finn, of course. And uh, Finn's still there. Munch, sadly, is gone. Um, Brian Cassidy is gone. Uh, who else is from the old team gone? Liv's partner, Atha Elliott, is gone. Amanda Rollins is gone. Baby, it's a whole new squad. <laughs> That's pretty much what I'm trying to get to. It is a whole new squad. If you watch this and think you're going to see some new fa uh, old faces, all you're going to see is Olivia and Finn. Those are the only old faces. Everybody else is fairly new. Because, like, Law & Order to me is broken up into, like, phases. Phase one is, like, the originals all the way up until Elliot left in season 13, 14, so up in there. Phase two is them 10 years he was gone. And then we are now in phase three. And this is season 26 in that phase three. So this is post him coming back um it's okay it's boring <laughs> i will say that it's kind of interesting um the people look good the girls look good whoever is on production doing the lighting it looks great phenomenal looks like regular nbc but other than that i can't really say much maybe it's boring it's boring Hopefully they do what they normally do. I wish they would have got out of this formula where they give us the tea, the goodness, the good stuff at the last 10 seconds of the goddamn episode. But we'll figure it out. But other than that, child, it's just me sitting on my phone listening to the girls on Tumblr go on and on and on about how good everybody else looked. But it's kind of boring. And also, like, since Law and Order, Law and Order, Organized Crime is on Peacock now, it's, this premiere is okay, but I miss the little oomph when they do, like, the two back-to-back -back when it has SVU and OC. Like, SVU come out on 9 and the OC come out on at 10. It's just SVU today. And then, of course, this uh, new episode, not episode, but new, um, what is this? Uh, Found. This new, uh... TV show. I may get into it, may not. I don't know. Now that they have this coming right after Lawn Order SVU, might get into it. Not sure yet. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But other than that, child is back home now. So we'll see. Hopefully, we get some form of breadcrumbs of their personal life. Because right now, all we got personal life is the new girl. I don't know what's happening, child. I don't know. Child is big born. Big born. That's crazy. 
Okay. This was kind of good. This the the case at least. The case was really good. Um it sucks if this is based off of like real actual events cuz I could only imagine how this happens in real life. Like it does happen in real life, but like how this per played out. But <sighs> all right, we in that we in that home stretch. We got a minute, a minute left. Please give me something of their personal life. Please. Like, give me give me some breadcrumbs. And I don't want the breadcrumbs to come in the previews for next episode next week. Give it here. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, we hit 10 o'clock and we have nothing of their personal life is being said and if I see executive producer Dick Wolf on this screen nothing nothing okay just what is next week's episode about nothing nothing absolutely nothing in the previews for next week's episode I don't, at this rate, I don't even know if I want to jump over to Peacock to even try to see if the new uh, episode for OC is on there. It's just, it was good. It, the case was good. Everything was great. Everything was good on that front. But it's just like, if you watched any of the old episodes of Lone Order SVU, you know, like they intertwine some pieces of their personal life or get you really invested in the detectives and the captain and the ADA and the people behind the scene these people that have this everyday job and it's like gruesome it's tough it's hard but like you try to figure out where their humanity is what keeps them going what keeps them focused what keeps them sane and it's just case after case after case and it's just like where is these people's personal lives like we're missing huge chunks of of just footage at this point like I know the writers are new I know all this other stuff this this show done changed so many people's hands but dang come on now all right let me go to Peacock and see if it's there let's see let's see let's see um can I get anything on Peacock okay here we go uh, let me go back. Peacock. Alright. Let's see if we got anything on Peacock. I don't even know if I want to sit here for a whole nother hour. Just to see if I can get a breadcrumb. Um. Ugh. I did see, um. The previews or a little piece of found. Um, before. Uh, I'm clicking over the peacock and it looks good. It looks good. It's the one with the girl that's saving all the kids from psychopaths that's been kidnapping all this other stuff. Come to find out she was one of the girls that broke free of her kidnapper just for everybody to find out that the reason why she's saving all these kids and knowing uh, where all the kids are and staying like two, three, four, five steps ahead of the police is because girl she got her old kidnapper that she broke free from in the basement of her house. So... I, I don't even know. <laughs> I do want to get into that because it sounds good. Because some people will give me tea talking about something. She might have a, a relationship with that man. So I'm just like, mm, that's tapping into my dark romance, feel good type of like feelings. But I don't know if I want to be emotionally invested in another show. Like, I don't know if I got it in me. I don't know. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do we have anything new? Watch season four, episode one. Have I seen this already? Hold on. Let me go back. Have I, have I seen this? Have I seen season four? All of season four. Have I seen this? Yes, I have. So, that's a bummer. Because that means season five is not out yet. So I need to figure out when that's going to come out. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and look. Because 
I'm already pissed off. I ain't got nothing else better to do. I ain't finna do nothing but go get in this bed and read a book, probably. Um, let me see when one or other Organized Crime Season 5 is going to be out. Yeah, when is this dropping? Law and Order Organized Crime Season 5? I said Organized Crime, right? Yes, I did. Why are they only give me Law and Order? Okay, when, when, when is... Yes, but when? On Peacock instead of NBC. Okay, but when? Release date. Give me a release date. Do we have one? Where is the release date? Is it out today? Um, organized crime, was it canceled? No, it wasn't canceled. There's some bad news, however. No, the premiere date has not been set. Okay, so I cannot watch season five of Organized Crime tonight. Um, that's a bummer. That's a bummer because SVU was a letdown. It didn't give me nothing. And now Organized Crime doesn't have a release date. Okay, so that's neither here nor there. So I am, it is 10.06 now and... I'm kind of let down, kind of bummed. Like, I don't even want to record no more because I'm like, well, damn, what am I supposed to do? Get in the bed, <laughs> chill, relax, play tic tac toe, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. Oh, but it's neither here nor there. It is what it is. That's what you get for falling in love with a show that you did not expect was going to be 26 seasons, literally actual years. And. <sighs> just let down so I guess I'm gonna go get in the bed and probably read a little bit and just relax um yeah I already have a busy day tomorrow so I probably even don't even want to try to since I'm not going to the gym since I have a doctor's appointment at 8 and I gotta be there at 7 30 and I gotta drive about 20 minutes to get there so the gym is out tomorrow morning so I probably will get in the bed and figure out. Nah, I'ma just call. Knowing me, I'ma lay in this bed, get comfy, and I'ma tap out in about the next 10 minutes. So I am gonna call it quits right now because I'm already bummed. So I'm like pissed off. And I'm gonna go to bed. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow.
a little bit later in the day. Um, it is 6.38 Saturday, October 5th. Yes, I think today is the 5th. And girl, I had to sit down and relax. Because I went to the gym this morning and I have been dead, deceased, no energy after washing my hair and doing a little piece of skincare and these pimples is going to be the death of me at this point. So for the rest of the day, um, I done ate dinner. Did I eat dinner or did I eat lunch? I don't know. Too much time has passed and I just feel like I have been in a whirlwind of I am exhausted. I want to sit down, but I got a head full of shampoo in my head, so I got to keep pushing forward. So I think that was lunch I ate. Yes, it was lunch. So I done ate lunch, even though it's like six o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and now it's time for me to actually act like I want to do some work this late in the evening. So I don't know if y'all follow me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Where did I post it? TikTok and Instagram? So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been um, tasked with... Is it? Is it here? No. It's over here. I have been tasked with making these charms because I posted a video of me like showcasing um, my new Kindle and all the things and I made this charm, right? So tell me why I posted that video and everybody was like, so when you gonna make them? What you mean when I'm gonna make them? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't know this was going to be a side hustle, y'all. I was really just showing y'all the girls. Like, I am preparing for fall. The browns, the creams have been keeping me alive. And um, I'm upset. So I just wanted to show the girls this pretty little Kindle. And they were like, but that charm, though. So I have decided to start making charms. And I mean... Why Why am I doing this? Why am I obsessing over it? What if the girls don't buy it? <laughs> what if I have done this for no reason? We don't know. We don't know. So I told a few people in the DMs and on the um, on the post. I'll put it on the screen if y'all haven't done so already. Um, I was like, okay, I'll make a few of them. But then I started to look at the charms. And then I literally got obsessed. I got obsessed. And now I'm just like, ooh, why, why did I do this? Why did I tell them girls I was going to make them? Because hard down, people really just wanted the brown ones. But I was just like, if they're like me, what if they want options? What if they want options? So, yes, that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to spin today. I was supposed to be getting be some more in the mail that's why i'm waiting so long but amazon be taking 10 years to do a simple task so the rest of the day i'm going to start just making i know for a fact the brown ones or starting them um and then i'm going to try to organize my thoughts and something around the rest of the colors that i have and try to figure out what design i want to make for the charms but yeah i what am I supposed to be doing? Yes, I know for a fact that I want to make this brown one again with the um, spacers for myself to go on my key ring because the, where is it? Is it over here? I don't know. The the little charm bookish thing that I had on there, it, it done tore up. It's, it's a mess and I bought it off of Etsy and I bought it years ago. So I need to scrap that so i'm gonna make myself another brown charm while i'm trying to make the brown ones hopefully amazon deliver the other um book charms today that i can get at least all 10 of the brown ones done and then start brainstorming about the other colors because right now in my mind this is what i have so far i'm gonna do brown i'm gonna do blue purple pink yellow and I think green yes green is the other color that's what I've had so far and I'm not making a bunch of these I'm literally only making 10 each and I don't ask me what I'm selling them for don't ask me anything else right now I just have the materials and I just need my little thinky think upstairs to actually put this together and make it come to life um let me get to the green ones I'm trying to show you so y'all see the green ones. So yeah, I have the green ones here. Oh, this is the brown, not the brown. This is the um book charm. See, it's, it's tore up, child. I need a new one of these. So I'm going to just switch this out 
for one of these and call it quits. So yes, that's what I plan on doing for the rest of the day. I may or may not hop on the game with Johnny because um, they have a new season of Diablo 4 coming out uh, on the 8th. Is that Tuesday or is that Monday? No, the Monday is the 7th, Tuesday is the 8th. So they have a new um, season of Diablo 4 coming out and I need to prep for that. This season, child, that game, me, I wasn't playing it. I was over here trying to talk to y'all and edit and do all the things. So I need to come up with a way to better, mm, what is that, organize everything I'm doing, but also don't lose focus in sight of the things that make me happy. And playing the game with Johnny definitely makes me happy, especially with Diablo 4. So that's, that's my goal this season on the game. Figure out how to, way to work it into my schedule and still keep up with all these many different hobbies that I have literally just been thrown in the deep end with and still be present as a wife, as a bonus mom, as a person, as a me, keep up with the gym, all the things. So the next half of this year is all about balance because if I don't get it now, next year, baby, there is going to be no balance. It's going to be chaos. And I don't, I don't want next year to be the same chaos this year. So we are going to hone in on these thoughts and come up with an actual plan and come up with a timeline to get everything done and still enjoy life. But before we can do all that, we got to conquer this goal and that is at least get 10 of the brown charms made today. So that's what I'm about to do and probably throw on an audiobook. What am I reading right now? It's by Trisha Wolf. Born to be something. Born darkly. Born. Born darkly. Darkly born. Trisha Wolf. I don't know. I'll put the book on the screen. I'm reading that right now and it's okay. It's okay. Um, I might. I don't know if it's too early to say yes or no yet, but I might not be a Trisha Wolf girl because this is my second duet by her. I read the other one. What is the title of that thing? I did it. Was it? It was it three books. What was the title of that? I cannot remember. What is the name of that book? Chop, put it on the screen. I read um, that trilogy and it was okay. I got bored around the end of the last book. So I was just like, mm, I don't really care about the plot or the male main character or the female main character for that matter. So let me just go on to Born Darkly because it was recommended to me. And it's pretty much just, uh, what I call it a thriller? No, it's a romance, but it's between a therapist and a man that's literally on death row that that is the book so far of course there's a lot more to the plot and all the things there's a lot of secrets a lot of like does he really like me why do i like him why why do we call to each other and him being cuckoo for cuckoo puffs i don't know maybe i'm just not in the mood to read a book like that that's why i'm not interested but it's a good time so i'm gonna listen to that and get into these charms and then eventually, girl, we might play the game, we might not, or we might just see me tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know right now. But right now, when I got the energy and I can actually sit down from today, we finna get to these charms. So let's do that. Question, tell me what you think about me I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings Only ring your belly when I'm feeling lonely When it's all over, please get up in me Question, tell me how you feel about this Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed Pay my own funnel and I pay my own bills Always 50-50 in relationships The shoe on my feet, I brought The clothes I'm wearing, I brought The rock I'm rocking, I
How'd you like this violence that I brought? Bragging on the cash that he gave you was a fun. If you're gonna back, make sure it's nobody in front. You know no one else to give you what you want. It's the fact that I'm just getting back from the gym and I realize I have not picked up this camera to record since Saturday. My bad. Um, I guess I can cut the vlog here um, because it's Monday, October 7th at 7.23 a.m. and I am wet, sweaty. Went to the gym this morning. So I need to shower and prepare for good old Hurricane Milton. Um, I do live in Tampa. They are telling us to evacuate, but I live in Zone E. And Zone E is not made to evacuate yet. Um, so we're gonna stay close to the news and all the things, but also make sure if we do stay here, get water and non-perishables so we can have all the things we need just in case the power and all the things go out. So we washed clothes, we did all the things. So I'm good, I'm safe, I'm good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. Cause I know the news can be scary, but I am good, I am safe. I am in zone E. We're preparing to stay as of now. So I'm good, I'm safe. So I am tired. I am exhausted. It's been a long weekend. Um, Cause after the charms on Saturday, Sunday, all I did was just like do hair, wash clothes, and gas up cars just to prepare for the storm. So it really, y'all didn't miss anything, girl. But yeah, I guess I'll cut the vlog here. I'll catch y'all the next one. Bye.